Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's such a fun to do a throwback on a technology which you have covered before. Light LLM is one such technology which I covered more than 10 months ago as you can see on my channel. It was such a simple nice tool, still is. So that is why I decided to do yet another video on light LLM but this time with a new twist we are going to integrate light LLM with one of our favorite tools Olama. We will install light LLM locally and then we will integrate it with Olama and then we will try it out with streaming with JSON mode function calling and lot of other stuff to see how exactly it works. So if you are not aware of what exactly this light LLM is. Light LLM in very simple words is a Python SDK or a proxy server to call more than 100 large language models APIs using the OpenAI format. So basically it's a standardized way of running your AI powered applications with heaps of LLMs whether it is open sourced Open, AI, open sourced uh, LLMs or OpenAI based or Anthropic based LLMs. You can even use uh, hyperscaler cloud services like Amazon Bedrock or Azure AI, Vertex AI, Cohere, Anthropic, AWS SageMaker, Hugging Face, Replicate, Grok, and the list goes on and on. That plus what LLM actually does is it translates input to provider's completion, embedding, and image generation endpoint. Yes, so not only text, but you can also do multimodality with this light LLM. Also, you will always get consistent outputs, text responses that will always be available at a certain endpoint. So you can simply replace your LLM and your application will remain the same. How good is that? So, for example, if you have built your application around OpenAI's GPT 4.0 and now your application has scaled quite quickly and it is getting very expensive. You can pick up any open source large language model through any other provider or through Olama or Llama file and you can simply drop in and then you start using that without changing your application or its endpoint. Another cool thing about it is that it gives you a retry fallback logic across multiple deployments. If you have used OpenAI's model in any production environment, you might have noticed that sometime it throttles you and simply refuses to complete your prompt. In that case, you can use light LLM's functionality to do the retry or fallback. You can also set budgets and rate limits per project API key model, but that is for the API based one. For this video, we are going to use it with Olama. So Olama is an AI tool that allows users to easily set up and run LLMs locally. It's a platform designed to run open source large language models locally on your machine. Olama bundles model weights, configurations and data sets into a unified package managed by a model file. Olama runs on Mac OS, Windows and Linux. I already have it installed on my local system but the installation is very simple. All you need to do is to just click on this download button. From here as per your operating system, for example for Linux just copy this command and run it on your terminal it is going to install Olama. For Windows or Mac OS simply download this file and run it and it will install the Olama that is the beauty of Olama here. So. First, we are going to install light LLM and then we will go from there. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so this is my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me also show you my Olama. So you see I have this Olama installed and I am already running Olama 3.1. If you want to download this model, simply do Olama pull and Llama 3.1 and it is going to download it for you. I already have it so I am not going to do it again. First up. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda. It's not a mandatory step, but it's always a good idea to do it to keep everything separate from your local system. 
shouldn't take too long and that is all done let me run these prerequisites i'm installing transformer accelerate and towards end in order to install light llm all you need to do is to pip install light llm as you can see here so let's wait for all of this to get installed this is going to take two to three minutes so let's wait for it okay so everything is installed now and you see that i also have installed async generator we will be using it for async function shortly next up let me launch my jupyter notebook as it will be easier to run and show you in the browser environment in the notebook so let's wait for it to get launched so my jupyter notebook is launched but first up let's import the light llm and now we are doing the completion where we are giving it a sentence and asking it to complete now this is the model which we have downloaded if you remember this is the one we already have running in olama and then this is our prompt and this is where olama is running at my local host at default port of 11434 if your olama is running on any other machine simply replace this local host with its ip so let me run it and there you go you can see the response one change i have made here is which i forgot to do earlier is that i have prefixed it with olama so any model you use in light llm you have to prefix it with the provider so we are using olama so you have done olama slash and then the model name and its tag and then rest is same and you see that this is where i was talking about that this response dot choice is zero will remain same no matter what llm you use so if you want to change your model simply replace this here sorry this llama 3.1 if you want to change provider simply change this whole llama how good is that so this is a completion you can even stream it if you like all you need to do is to just type stream is equal to true and that's about it and once you run it it is going to create a streaming object if you want to display it all you need to do is to just loop through the chunks in the responses something like this and you see the response is like i am just a computer program so it is streaming and this is what you can use it in your chatbots and a lot of st stuff there okay so that is done and you can also do function calling with it let me show you an example and you know that function calling simply means that we provide a natural language prompt to a model and model converts it into a function call or a function signature and not every model supports function call so you can register it with this command this has been provided by light llm but we are going to use our llama 3.1 so i'm not going to use that so we are importing it this is a function or tool which we have defined you can define any of your own that this is a function name these are its parameters and this is a uh, mandatory parameter and then we are defining a prompt template and our prompt that what is the weather like in boston and then this is the model we are using and you make sure that when you are using function call instead of just olama use olama underscore chat so let me call it and it is going to produce the function call there you go so this is our tool call and this is the location boston and it has doing the function call here amazing stuff so you see light llm not only makes it so easy to use these llms but you can swap llm providers along with the llms so that's it <clears throat> this was just a throwback and then also with a new twist of integrating it with one of the most popular tool olama and this is quite easy you can just drop and replace your code with the model i hope that you liked it let me know what you think about it also if you like the content please subscribe to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching